Children used to run and play. Look at all the mess we made. Guess I never know where it went wrong. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a simple bubu kaftan dress um for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of this print fabric i have about six yards of it although we'll only be needing about four to five yards so um i also have my measuring materials here to go ahead and cut this out so the first thing i'm going ahead to do now is to fold this fabric so i'm going to fold it first into two as you can see i'm opening it up i'm going to first fold it into two and then fold it again then i'll show you guys how i did it so guys the length of our african print fabric from one border let me just call it border so from here from here down to the other border is usually 45 inches i mean from here down to this place is usually 45 inches and the full length of my dress is 60 is 56 so that's not enough only if i want to join the length of this dress so i don't want that so i folded it from the other part so i folded it into two first and then folded it again like this so i folded it to two first and then folded it again like this to give me four places so this is what i'm not going to use to measure out this gown so you can see from the beginning now to the end my i'll be able to get the full length that i want this dress to be and then have some allowance at the end as well to stitch it down i don't know if you guys understand what i mean so once you've gotten the full length for your dress the next thing we're going to do is from this point here towards this side first you will mark your shoulder measurement divided by four so from here you will now mark your shoulder down to your elbow or below your elbow depending on how wide you want your butterfly to be so i just marked mine here and from that point i marked i'm just going straight down so i'm going to just go ahead and cut this all the way to the end of the fabric so now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to mark my neck depth so from the middle of this fabric i went in by three inches that's how wide i want the neckline to be so from the top i'm going down by four inches so i'll just go ahead and use my free hand to just connect a round neckline for this particular part it all depends on what kind of neckline you want for me i wanted a round neckline if you want a v you can go ahead and do a v then on this other side i came down by two inches so come down by two inches here and just use your free hand or your ruler to connect it into the neckline just like you see me doing like this this is going to be the shoulder slope now we'll just go ahead and cut it out I've been here before and said goodbye. Oh, I... now from this shoulder area before we take all our other measurements for the sides from the top of the shoulder here i'm going to go all the way to the end of this fabric to see the length i want this dress to be so it's going to be 56 but i'm cutting it out right now with about 58 inches so that i'll use the other remaining parts that i'm adding the other allowance for stitching it at the end so yeah when you're basically done with that that's all the cutting you need for your agbada so as i've opened it up now you see that we have two pieces there are two pieces so we cut the front and the back together in this particular cutting so now i'm just going to go ahead and use a tiny piece of fabric to pipe the neckline you can also use bias if you have a bias and after pip piping the neckline i'll go ahead and stitch down the shoulder and stitch down the other side as well so guys after i was done piping the neckline and stitching down the sides this is what it looks like so now the next thing we want to go ahead and do is this open ends here we're going to go ahead and just fold it all the way from one end through to the other end so you just fold it in like this twice and stitch it all the way around to the other end like this and we're going to do the same thing for the other side as well and then when you're through with that we'll go ahead and fold the ends of the agbada as well just the hem of the dress as well 
so guys after stitching it down this is what i have here as you can see and i've also gone ahead to do the same thing for the hem of the dress as well so as you can see this fab um, i folded the both front and back you can see how i folded it into two like this so the neckline is folded into two so i'm going to go ahead and take my body measurements and we're going to be starting from the shoulder so from the shoulder here i came down to 10 inches which is my bust point here again i'm placing the tape on the shoulder i'm coming down to 15 inches which is my waistline and then to 21 which is my hip point so i'm just marking these lines across so that you guys can see them so now on this first line i'm marking my bust measurement divided by four so this first line is the bust point i'm marking my bust measurement divided by four but because this is an agbada i'm adding one inch to my actual measurement so i just marked it here then on the waistline i'll also divide my waist measurement by four but add one inch because this is an agbada and i want it to be free so i just connected the two lines here now then let's come down to the hip my hip measurement divided by four i added one inch to it and i marked it as well and as you can see i'm just connecting a curve to get like my body shape and from this hip line i'll just go ahead and just slant it out just like you see me doing like this make it wider as you go to the ends of the fabric so i'm making it wider a little bit as i'm going to the end but from the end of the fabric you're going to go up by about nine to ten inches i make a point there then i'll just curve it like this to meet that point so my stitching is going to end at that point we are not marking to the end of the fabric so that you'll be able to work um freely on it so after making this slant like this i'm going to measure everything i have here and repeat it for the other side of the fabric and one thing I, i'm sure you must have noticed is i'm making this point in front of the fabric i'm making it on on the front part of the fabric not on the back this is because i'm going to be stitching this on the front so i need to be able to see my drawings to stitch it down in front so guys after i was done making the marks on both sides of the fabric you can see i have something like a human body in the middle of the dress so this is what it's going to look like if you do it like this so now i'm going over to the sewing machine i'm just going to stitch on top of my lines not from the inside on top of the line so i'll stitch it all the way to where my white stops just here where it stops i'm not going to go ahead and stitch this other side this other side from here to the end is going to be open so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do now so guys when you are through with that top stitch you're basically done with your dress i was done with the dress right here as you can see but i'm very sure the lines are very invisible it's hard to see the line so that's why i've decided to wear it on this side so that you guys will see what it looks like so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you find it helpful let me know in the comment section what you think about the tutorial and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one